Uh, hello, fellow worm enthusiasts. This is Larry with the Wiley Worm Farm. One more time. <clears throat> it's time for worm feeding again. This is August the 5th, 2023. We're going to start right here on this bin on the end that's not covered up, which I am letting this dry out. I'm going to go through this uh, probably next week. Make sure I don't have any worms in here first. I see a few down here. But they'll get up this way. They'll make this way. They'll make their way up this way. But we're going to uncover them. And boy, look how they've torn into that paper there, Mr. Cameraman. They're working on that paper. The last time I was here, I had quite a bit of moisture in this bin. And last time I was here, I fed them. I don't remember feeding them banana peel, but that looks like some banana peel right there. And this paper is, well, that ain't paper. I'll tell you what that is. That is watermelon. No, this is not watermelon, Ryan. This is, uh, this is toilet paper rolls. Now, what I did was I soaked some toilet paper rolls in water and surprisingly, when I when I got them out, I was going to soak them and put them in here. But when I took them out of the water after they'd been there just a few minutes, they come unrolled, and that's what they look like. So that's toilet paper rolls. So I'm going to leave that right there for now and put her back in here. I was going to give them some cardboard, but since I got this here, I'll just put this back in. And last time I was in here, I fed them for a boy. Look how moist that is there, Mr. Cameraman. Look how moist that is. I still got some eating on some food that I left in there. All right, here's some worms. Worms, 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 and more worms. Now, you can't tell it by looking at this worm right here, but here's a worm fact. That worm has five hearts, and all the hearts are right close to each other. Now, what I don't know, and I haven't been able to determine, if, if one of those hearts goes bad, does the worm die, or does he live on the other four hearts? I don't know. Got a lot of moisture in here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that toilet paper roll back in here in my moisture. Looks like most of my food that I had in here is gone. So we're going to give them a little bit of food here this time around. And hopefully, well, they're looking pretty good here, Mr. Cameraman. There's some food left. I'll put that back on this end down here. Not much, but a little bit of food. It's been actually eight days since I was in here. I usually feed them every seven days, but I'm a day late this time around. But they're all right because they've got other stuff. They've got carbon and so forth they can eat. Worms can survive on, survive quite a while without food if, if you give them the right bedding. Now what I usually do is give them, uh, i got a little bit, looks like a little bit more food there, Mr. Cameraman. I'll put that down here in a minute. Just a little bit left. Look at those worms. My goodness, look at them worms. Now, what is that? I guess that's a worm, too, but it's a little different color. Did you see them worms there, Mr. Cameron? Now, I see, I see a little bit of cocoon in here. I should have quite a, quite a bit of cocoons in here because some of these worms have been here since uh, January the 17th. I put 150 in here and then put another 150 on March the 8th. And they have grown into now probably, probably 1,200 or more worms. So I'm going to pull out a place here to feed these worms. Now I've got some watermelon to feed them again. Now, worms love watermelon. Love watermelon. I'm getting, getting a little watermelon, so I'm going to give them what I've got here. 
I got plenty of bedding here. If I run out of food, I got plenty of bedding, so I'm okay. I'm in good shape here, folks. And then I'll put the rest of this watermelon back in the freezer to feed more worms. All right, we'll put that. Up. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put the cardboard or the toilet paper rolls under those worms. That'll absorb some of that water, that moisture. Should have plenty of carbon here, plenty of brown stuff for them here. So I'll put my watermelon back in here on top of this. And then cover my worms up. Give them a good, I mean my food up, cover my food up good. And I need to push it down a little bit more. I need to get a little bit of this dry bedding to cover up here with you folks. Quite enough dry bedding. Some of that dry bedding will be a little moist next time I cut it because this watermelon. And I'm going to put this toilet paper roll over here. They, for some reason, they love toilet paper rolls. And then I'll put what little bit of bedding I got left here, or, or paper, newspaper, I should say. They have just about tore into that. I got a worm right on top of that, but he'll move. Or she, or whatever it might be. He or she, who knows? Once I started raising worms, and I had no clue of this, but once I started raising worms, I realized for the first time in my life that worms are hermorphodites. I hope I pronounced that correctly. They have both male and female organs, and two worms come together at the clotellum, which is a little round part that's a little bit longer than the rest of the body, a little more swollen there. You can see it on your, your adult red wiggers. And by the way, they don't, they don't produce until they get a catellum. Put this back on here. All right. And I think this will be enough for today, folks. So until the next video, this is Larry with Wiley Worm Farm, if you will. If you like and, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. That'll help us a lot. And uh, I'll also leave a few links if you'd like to order some worms from Mimi Worm Farm. Mimi is the only person that I know. There probably are more, but I don't know about them. But Mimi is uh, less than an hour from me, and Mimi has purebred red wigglers. And my last bin that I bought, that's where I got them from, the Mimi Worms, and I'm very happy with them. So I'll put a link to hers and a link to my site. So until then, we'll see you next time, my friends. God bless you. Have a great weekend.